I submit to you a question for your consideration. What do you think of the word elopement? To elope, we all know what that means. It's when you, it's when you take off with someone and start the rest of your life, but you kind of keep it a little secretive. At least that's a general description of what it is. But when you think of the kind of people that would engage in an elopement together, what kind of person do you see in your mind? How old are they? You know, what, what, what are they like? What is their place in, in, in this world at the time that they choose to elope? It has nothing to do with today's video. I'm just asking for a friend. So it'd be April 4th, 2021. You know what that means. Another day, another video. But before we get to that, remember, as always, like, share, subscribe. Hit up the old Patreon. If you want to help me out that way, it would be a major help. And I'm always posting extra stuff there to give you some bang for your buck. The link to that is in the description below. I would show that, but I'm too busy sipping my soft drink. And uh, anyway, the links to that, as well as the links to my Facebook and Instagram, uh, closely related to the content I'm posting on this channel are also linked in the description below. This just makes me look so professional as a vlogger. Anyway, let's get to today's story. So I asked you this question about elopement for a reason, and hopefully it wasn't too big of a spoiler, because it obviously is going to play a role in our video. I'm just going to come out and say it. A 90-year-old woman named Elizabeth Eastman went missing in Vancouver, British Columbia many April 4ths ago. And it was because she'd eloped with her her boyfriend, who I think her boyfriend was like 86 or something. There's really no point in hiding it. That's why I asked you the question, because what do you think when you think of, ooh, excuse me. What do you think of when you think of people eloping? You ask me, I think of some people, you know, people between the ages of like 18 and 30, maybe. Young people, people that are maybe getting into a relationship, maybe they're getting a little too serious when they're not ready to get serious, but they're too young to know they're not supposed to get too serious, and they tell their families to screw off, and then they just disappear one day, and everyone's like, oh my god, they've disappeared, they've been murdered, they've joined a cult, and it's, nope, they just elope together. Anyway, we all think of, when we all think of people that elope, it's usually young people with a few outliers. Usually it's not a woman who's 90 years old. Yeah, it was reported in a newspaper that this 90-year-old this woman, Elizabeth Eastman, she just disappeared off the face of the earth. And, and usually when an elderly person goes missing like that's a sign for deep concern because, you know, especially if uh, someone that age uh, has dementia, has Alzheimer's, has, you know, any number of, of, you know, mental issues that might lead them to, you know, wander astray. It, it's unfortunately happened uh, too many times to too many people where, um, so, you know, an elderly person will just walk away from their home one day and, you know, everyone panics. And sometimes those people are never found. You know, the elderly people will just walk out of their house and disappear forever. So it's, it's... Hell yeah, brother. Sorry, it's a thing I do. But that is a very, you know, that is a very real and serious thing that, you know, many families have had to face when loved ones that are of an older age or loved, even not necessarily an advanced age, but just loved ones that have um, mental disorders, about two years ago, a woman brought a child up to me at the theater I was working at, and she said that he'd lost his parents and were looking for them. I tried to help the kid find his parents in several different auditoriums, or no, it was his grandparents, and we couldn't find him anywhere. And it didn't take too long before, you know, being in contact with this child, who's probably about 12 years old, to realize that he obviously had some kind of develop, development issue, or uh, developmental disability. 
and ultimately when there was like nothing I could really do for him, we brought over the management and security to try to help the kid get things figured out. And it turned out he had literally just walked out of his house where he lived, like, you know, for, for that brief moment, uh, whoever was he was living with, whoever was supposed to be keeping an eye on him, they, you know, they looked the other way and he walked out of the house and walked to our theater. He wasn't there watching a movie with his grandparents. He just thought that was what was happening. So, you know, considering the fact that the theater I worked at is real close to 82nd Avenue, which if you're not from Portland, 87, 82nd Avenue is kind of, uh, and I could just see this child leaving his home and wandering along 82nd and the wrong person coming along and picking him up. And, you know, we were just, he as well as we, we were all lucky that he chose to go to the movie theater and we were able to find him. You know, at the time I was helping this kid try to figure out where his, what auditorium he was supposed to be in. His family was posting frantic messages on like Facebook and stuff saying like, our child is missing and we don't know where he is. So I, you know, I've experienced that directly, that concept of somebody just walking away from home one day and nobody, nobody has any idea what happened to them. But in this case, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's a little bit different. It's, it was just, but I can just imagine those thoughts going through somebody's head. Oh no, my 90 year old mother's gone missing and all the fear and panic and oh my God, what's happened? And then it was such a ridiculous story. And you know, this because the police, they spread out and they search, oh my God. 90 year old woman's missing oh lord oh help us and as the police are searching they discover that um miss eastman was in victoria british columbia and she'd gone missing from vancouver and she was on her honeymoon with her 86 year old uh i guess you could say husband to be they weren't actually married yet but they were having an elopement honeymoon in just another another part of British Columbia. I mean, you write that article and you're like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But hey, at least she was okay. You know, everyone thought for a fleeting moment, oh my God, she's gone. What happened? Oh no. And meanwhile, she was 90 year old woman. She was having the time of her life. And even at the end, because the article was such a joke, even by the end of the article, you know, they talk about the police searching eye low and it's like, oh, that's what happened to her. They said the main clue that brought them to the conclusion they reached in terms of what happened to Miss Eastman was a marriage license. I mean, that makes sense. So, <laughs> it's not a story you see every day. So, that alone made me think, I have to cover this story, how could I not? So, that's the story of the 90 year old missing woman who was just trying to have a good time on her honeymoon. What can you say? Thanks so much for watching. Um, as always, remember to like, share, subscribe, hit up my Patreon if you want to help me out that way. I'm always posting new stuff there. That's your incentive. The link to that as well as the links to my Facebook, Instagram pages. Uh, closely related to the content that I'm producing here as well as my other YouTube channel, See the Amateur Story, and all those links are in the description below. And whew, all that said, this has been Steve and I'll see you tomorrow.